Today's question comes from Roz. She says, Hi Kayla, I am a middle-aged woman who has been overweight most of my life. I am wanting to lose 25 to 30 pounds to get down to a healthy weight for my 5 foot 4 inch frame. I have been eating OMAD, an eating window of 5 to 6.30 p.m., five days a week, and two days uh, of cheating for approximately uh, two months. I have not lost one pound. What would your number one suggestion as to why that may be? I understand I could be stricter, but I would have thought I would have lost even one or two pounds by now. Help! Well, uh, Roz, I think uh, this is a great question because, you know, you, you say that you are doing OMAD, but then you also say a window between 5 to 6.30. And that would be the first thing I would um, ask you is, what does your eating actually look like during that window? Because an hour and a half of eating time is actually time where you could be eating two, three, or, or more times, depending on, you know, um, what you're doing. So, um, when, when I say OMAD, I mean literally OMAD. Like that means I sit down once to the meal, I eat what I'm going to eat, I stand up and I start fasting again. So, um, so if, if it is that you're finding that you, when you finally sit down, uh, to your, to your window and you, uh, are just maybe kind of ravenous. And then, so you eat a lot at the meal and then, and maybe you kind of feel like you can't stop. Then I would say, look at that. Like what, what are the reasons why you're eating? Um, for me personally, a lot of times when I have that like lack of self-control, um, is, you know, just because I'm stressed out or something like that. So um, not to say that that's what you're experiencing. And then also the, the two cheat days that you have, I would, you know, encourage you to look at that and um, ask yourself, how does your eating look on those two days? Um, you know, I, I always did like one cheat day. And um, what I noticed for myself was um, those days tended to be a, pretty much a reflection of my other days. You know, it wasn't like on that one day I was just like going crazy with food as far as like I wasn't overeating on those days. Uh, really, that was the only rule I had for myself. It didn't matter how often I was eating. It was just that I didn't want to ever overeat. So if you find that, you know, when you, when you, when you kind of objectively look at your eating during your window and then on your cheat days, if you find that you, you feel like maybe you are eating emotionally or things like that, I would, you know, explore that, um, figure out what's going on, you know, what's stressing you out and taking action on those things. Because ultimately, you know, if, if you're not losing weight, that means that, you know, it, like if your weight is staying the same, it means that you are eating just the right amount of calories to maintain where you're at. Um, in order to lose, you have to eat, you know, fewer calories in order to be able to lose the weight. So ultimately, the number one thing would be the amount of food is just enough to maintain right now. But now another thing to look at, because you did say, you know, 25 to 30 pounds is what you need to lose to be at a healthy weight uh, for your five foot, four inch frame. Um, you didn't define what that meant to you. Like, do you mean that, that that's like the low end of the normal for BMI? Or do you mean like that's the, the cutoff point that will get you just into the normal zone? Or are you using some other sort of measurement? Because from my own experience, I can tell you that once I got right down to the uh, the cusp there, right where, you know, the, the BMI uh, gets to normal uh, versus overweight, that little cusp right there, that's when the weight loss slowed way down for me. It was like a third of a pound a week on average. Um, and that was, you know, being strictly uh, OMAD six days a week uh, with a cheat day on Sunday and walking six miles every day. So those are, are some things that you can think about, um, but don't give up. Just, you know, uh, make some small tweaks. If you find you're emotionally eating a lot, you know, just work on those things that are stressing you out. Just take it slowly and, and remain patient and, and keep going and you will get to where you're wanting to go. If you're having trouble getting started on your weight loss journey, check out my Slow and Steady Success Academy. You can subscribe to the entire course collection, which includes monthly access to my flagship course, Intermittent Fasting for Weight Loss 101, which is the course on intermittent fasting that I wish I would have had when I first heard about it. You'll also get access to courses about mindset and maintenance and weight tracking. My goal with each course is to teach you how to lose weight sustainably and keep it off for the rest of your life. Come join the Academy today.